Before we start our discussion, let us all feel the presence of the Lord through this audiovisual presentation entitled, Lead Me Lord by Mr. Gary Valenciano. Study with me, 
make me happy Open your cameras and say present When I call your name one by one To check your attendance Very good children! I'm glad that there is no absentees in our class. Now, we will have an activity called, What am I? You will going to identify the sound and silences in the picture given. State or type this symbol if the picture produce or indicate sound. And type this symbol if the picture denotes silence and comment it in the chat box but i will call names to state their answer and to get acknowledged click the raise hand icon and wait until i call your names are you ready grade 4 learners great let's begin for the first one anyone in the class does the picture indicate sound or it denotes silence Yes, Kathleen, your acknowledge. Great job. The picture indicates sound because the picture shows a crying baby. Reminder everyone, I'm encouraging everyone to type their answers in the chat box. Children, you will go you need to participate. And for the next picture, number two. Yes, Via, your acknowledge. Very good. The picture denotes silence because the picture shows a sleeping baby. Okay, for the next picture, yes, Camila, your acknowledge. Very good. It also denotes silence because when we pray, we should be keep quiet. Of course, we should focus praying. And for the next picture, yes, Lauren, your acknowledge. Good job! The picture indicates sound because the picture show the bird is singing. And for the next picture, yes, Perna, your acknowledge. Good job! It indicates sound also because the telephone is ringing for the next picture your acknowledge crystal great the picture indicate sound because of the thunder the rain and the waves of the ocean for the next picture, yes, Joyce, your acknowledge. Very good, good job. The picture denotes silence because the girl is reading in the library. And what do we do when we are in the library? Of course, we read in silence. We should be keep quiet. For the next picture, yes, Miss Angeline, your acknowledge. Very good. The picture indicates sound because the alarm is ringing. When the alarm is ringing, of course, the sleeping Angeline will awaken. Very good. For the next picture, yes, Fatima, your acknowledge. Great job! The picture indicates silence because the kids are painting and focusing to their work. 
of course when we focus we are also in silence and for the last picture yes Violina your acknowledge good job the picture indicates sound because the girl is singing good job learners I see that everyone is now familiar and know the difference between sound and silences thank you children for participating through reciting and commenting their answers in the chat box let us give everyone a good job clap it goes like this good job OBJOB. good job good job hey good job good job hey again again children J double O B J O B. good job good job hey good job good job hey okay wherever we go we always see and encounter different kinds of signs and symbols now i have here five cards and i will pick a card one by one and in that card there is a symbol can you name those symbols great okay let's proceed yes adele what symbolizes shown in the picture in the card good job the card symbolizes love and for the next card yes mark what symbolizes shown in the picture very good it symbolizes the fast food fast food chain mcdonald's very good next card yes jennifer very good it symbolizes the math symbols or the basic operations in mathematics good job and for the next picture for the next card yes klaisa what symbolizes shown in the picture in the card very good the card symbolizes recycling and for the last picture yes christian what symbolizes shown in the card good job the card symbolizes jolly bee i think everyone is really familiar with this card we see signs and symbols everywhere like the flag in front of our school where the philippine flag is raised it symbolizes our country in music we use symbols to indicate sounds and silences it is important to know the relationship between these kinds of notes and silences to read music the symbols for the musical sounds called notes notes are the time of sounds and the rest is for the silence in music rest are the time of sounds the rests and notes the notes and rests represent beats beats are the numbers of beats telling how long a note is played or sounded and number of silent beats in this discussion 
I have prepared games to make this lesson fun. So, participate and enjoy! Music is made up of different kinds of notes and rests to represent duration of sounds and silences. Let's learn about the different kinds of notes and rests. It's symbols, names, and value. When we say notes, these are the time of sound. And when we say rest, these are the time of silences. Let's first learn about the different kinds of notes. Again, when we say notes, it is the time of sound. A note has its part, the note head, the stem, and the flag or beam. In note head, we have two, the open note head and the closed note head. When we say open note head, the note head is unshaded. And when we say close note head, the note head is already shaded. And for the first kind of note, it is called whole note. A whole note has an open note head part only. Again, the note head is open note head, meaning the note head is unshaded. And whole note receives four beats. Again, whole note receives four beats. Again, what do we call the uh, what do we call the whole note that has an open note head part only and it receives four beats? Very good. Seems like everyone is still active today and for the second um, second kind of note is the half note half note has a, an open note head with a stem already it receives two beats again half note has an open note head with a stem already and it receives two beats again half note again what do we call what do we call an open note head with a stem and receives two beats great half note good job and for the third note, we have quarter note. When we say quarter note, it has a close note head with a stem. Again, the note head is already close note head, meaning the note head is shaded. And quarter note receives one beat. Again, what do we call the no what do we call a note that receives one beat? Good job. It is called a quarter note. And for the next and fourth note, we have eighth note. It has a close note head with a stem and one beam or flag again eighth note is already has one beam the closed note head is shaded and with a stem and one beam or flag it is called eighth note and eighth note receives one half one half beat again what do we call 
a close note close note head with a stem and one beam or flag very good it is called eighth note and for the last kind of note we have sixteenth note sixteenth note has close head note note head with a stem and two beam again it has two beam already and 18th, 16th note receive one fourth beat again 16th note receive one fourth beat again learners what do we call a note that has close note head with the stem and two beams or flag also it receives one fourth beat Good job! It is called 16th note. Good job, learners! Take note. The stem of a note can be up or down. The stem that is up or down doesn't affect the value or the number of beats of a note. The flag or beam is always pointed at the right side side of the note. Two eight notes beam together meaning they are put together like this. And two sixteenth notes beam together they are also put together and it is like this. And now let's proceed with the different kinds of rests. Again rest when we say rest, it, re it is called the time of silences. There is no sound. Again, it is called rest. Now, let's talk about the different kinds of no, no different kinds of rest. Its symbols names and value or the number of silent beats this time it is called silent beat for the first kind of rest we have the whole rest whole rest it is like a box that is hung down below the line or a rectangle facing downward whole rest receives four silent beats again whole rest receives four silent beats again learners what do we call a, what do we call rest that receives four silent beats and the symbol look li looks like a rectangle facing downward. Very good. It is called whole rest. Great. For the second rest, it is like the opposite of the whole note. Whole rest, rather. It looks like a box facing upward or a rectangle facing upward or for me it looks like a hat half no half rest rather receives two silent beats again half rest receive two silent beats learners again what do we call the the symbol of a rectangle facing upward and receives two silent beats great good job it is called half rest 
And for the third rest, it looks like letter Z. The symbol looks like letter Z. And quarter rest receives one silent beat. Again, learners, what do we call a rest that receives one silent beat? Good job! It is called quarter rest. And for the next one, we have eight rest. Eight rest symbol looks like a number seven. And it has one flag or beam. Eighth rest receives one half silent beat. Again, eighth rest receives one half silent beat. Learners, what do we call a rest that receives one half silent beat? Very good. It is called eight rest. For the last rest, or last kind of rest, we have the sixteenth rest. And sixteenth rest symbol looks like a mirrored letter F to me. It has already two flag or beam. It is called again 16th rest. 16th rest receives one fourth silent beats. Again, 16th rest receives one fourth silent beats. Learners again, how many beats receives 16th rest? Very good. One fourth silent beats. Beat. Now, grade four learners, we will have a game like what I have mentioned earlier. I prepared games to make our lesson fun. And I want you to help me find the 10 pairs of the different kinds of notes and rest that we tackled a while ago. And I want you to open your cameras to all students or pupils that are in a in off cameras and make sure that your mic is unmuted if you will state or recite your answer. Are we clear? When I say clear, you will say crystal and when you say crystal, you will say clear. Are we clear? Crystal? Very good. This game is called Matching Pair. I will click the card and open it to see what note or rest it contains. Reminder learners, observe and memorize the cards carefully for us to know what and where is their pairs located. Are we clear? Very good. Now, let's start.
Very good. Thank you for participating and I hope you're enjoying our lesson. Okay, grade 4 learners, let's have another activity about our lesson for today. Let's look if you really understand our lesson. I have here two activities or games that will test if you listen and understand the lesson. For the first game, it is called Name Me. You will going to drag and drop each symbol with their description to its correct answer. Again, in doing this activity, this first game, you will going to drag and wrap each symbol with their description to their correct answers. To answer this, I have here the link that I will commenting in our chat box. Just click it and put or type your name and start playing it. I will give you 10 minutes to answer and the fastest pupil who will have the perfect score will have a prize. Are we clear? Crystal? Very good! Is everyone done answering? Okay, great. For the second game, it is called Value Me. You will going to find the match of the given notes and breast by tap tapping, just tapping the matching answer or the correct answer. And again, another for this activity. I have also another link. Just click it also. Type your name and start playing. Again, I will give you 10 minutes of doing the game. Thank <laughs> you. 
I see that every one of you understand and listen to our discussion. I am glad that everyone participate and did you enjoy? Great! I'm glad that you enjoyed our lesson. And again, with that, notes are musical sounds that represent sounds. There are five kinds of notes, namely the whole note, the half note, the quarter note, the eighth note and the sixteenth note and while rest represent silence in music there are five kinds of rests namely full rest half rest quarter rest eighth rest and sixteenth rest for your quiz I have here two parts. For the first part, five items, the multiple choice. And the second part, we have the matching type, five items also. The total of 10 items. For the direction, for the part one, we have the multiple choice. Read and understand each item carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer on the separate sheet of paper. And for the direction for the second part, match the symbols on a column on column A to its value in column B. Write the letter of the correct answer on a separate sheet of paper after the part A. Clear? Very good! For your assignment, draw the symbols of the different kinds of notes and rests and label their names, its value or number of beats on a band paper. And for number two, read about how to use stick notation and what is a musical score. Again. For your assignment, draw the symbols of the different kinds of notes and rest, label their names, and its value or numbers of beats on a band paper. For the number two, read about how to use stick notation and what is a mu musical score. And that's all for today. That's all for our discussion. Thank you for listening and participating. Eat healthy foods and keep safe, everyone. God bless. Goodbye.